This year's Toronto International Film Festival featured a wide variety of films, including hits from Venice, as well as premiering Oscar contenders. The festival ended with Frances McDormand's crime drama Three Billboards Outside Ebbing, Missouri, winning the People's Choice Award. Golden Lion winner The Shape of Water also received high praise from festival goers. The movie's director Guillermo del Toro says the film's success is as a result of the help he received from his collaborators. 50% of a director, the director's work with actors is casting. In this case, it was not even necessary because the main parts, Sally Octavia and Michael Shannon, were written specifically for them and tailored to their strengths as performers which is mainly their eyes. They have incredibly powerful eyes, all of them. And Sally has a purity, uh, like a silent comedian. She's heartbreaking, beautiful. I also wanted uh, the leading uh, character to be beautiful, but in a, in a way that was unique and powerful, not model, not Hollywood, but she was, she, she that you fell in love with her rather than simply admiring, you know, and, and, and Sally has an inner light like nobody else. For more on this, let's cross to film critic Jose Teodoro, who joins me from Toronto. Thank you for joining us, Jose. So the Toronto Perfect. Film Festival has been appreciated by fans for having a wide variety of productions. Out of these productions, which one stood out the most? Um, you know, it depends what you mean by standout, because uh, something that had its world premiere at TIFF was Mother by Darren Aronofsky, this film that stars Jennifer Lawrence and Javier Bardem. It's a very divisive film. Some people think it's a masterpiece. Others thought it was uh, a sort of uh, horrible mess. Um, but there's uh, a number of wonderful films that might get less attention, such as uh, Zama, which is a film that takes place in South America in the 19th, sorry, 18th century from uh, director Lucrecia Martel. Um, and of course, there's uh, some unexpected things like this film, uh, Three Billboards Outside Ebbing, Missouri, which won the uh, uh, Audience Award, which is a beautiful film that no one expected to get quite that much attention. So speaking of films that don't get much attention, they're very overlooked. Do you think that they'll receive the attention they deserve later on? I think so. Uh, actually, I believe the statistic says that every single year the film that wins the Audience Award at TIFF winds up getting a Best Picture nomination. So I think that bodes very well for uh, three billboards. Uh, there's also this film, uh, Lady Bird, from Greta Gerwig, you know, a woman who is, of course, known as an actress. This is her directorial debut, but she made this very funny, very smart coming-of-age story set in her native Sacramento, California. And uh, that got a lot of buzz, and I think we'll be hearing more about that in the future. It's fair to say that females in the film industry don't receive the same treatment that their male counterparts do. And so to say, in 2016, only 7% of the 250 highest earning films that were released were directed by women. 7%. It's such a low percentage. The Toronto Film Festival came out with a campaign this year to bring women directors and women in general in the film industry to the forefront. Tell us a bit more of what they've done. Uh, I mean, the bottom line is that they've just made roughly half the program at the festival of films directed by women. And the platform competition, which is now their most prestigious prize, was, you know, it's 12 films and literally six of those films are directed by women. I would be very happy just to report that that was the case. But um, the, the really great news is that I saw about a third of the films at the festival this year. And I have to say that most of the best films I saw were films directed by women. Um, I, so my hope is that this initiative uh, isn't just a positive change for equality, it's actually also a positive change uh, for bringing more diversity and quality to the film industry itself. So we say the festival um, has a very diverse range of productions. They're bringing women out to the forefront of the cinema industry and they're promoting new talents. Which names are we starting to hear that are fairly new? <laughs> uh, you know, that's really hard to say. The uh, TIFF has this Rising Stars program, um, but that's a program that I think it pays off more in the future. You know, the I've looked at the actors who uh, were involved in the Rising Stars program this year and they haven't done work yet that has really uh, come into my sphere of knowledge. However, back in 2011, TIFF Rising Stars featured uh, Canadian actress Sarah Gaydon. 
She went on to be featured in three films by the director David Cronenberg. And uh, she's now, this year, in uh, this television series, Alias Grace, which also had its premiere at, at TIFF. And Alias Grace is based on a novel by Margaret Atwood, who also mm -hmm. wrote The Handmaid's Tale, which has become a big hit. So I think that it takes a few years, but over time, you'll see that uh, this program, you know, once in a while, I think it's going to find someone that can really break through. And real quick, there was a fair amount of Oscar contenders at the festival. Uh, how do you think the Academy Awards will look like after the Toronto Film Festival? Uh, you know, I, I think with these sorts of things, uh, the studios see them coming well in advance. Uh, there's no huge surprises. This year we had Gary Oldman playing Winston Churchill in the film Darkest Hour, uh, which is, you know, a film about a key moment in the Second World War. So someone like Gary Oldman, I think, from the very beginning, uh, was sort of picked as someone who's going to be an Oscar contender, and I think that that will come true. I don't know that there's big surprises there. Although perhaps uh, Army Hammer in the film Call Me By Your Name, I could imagine that he might eventually emerge as uh, someone to get picked for Best Actor or Best Supporting Actor. Well, we'll just have to wait and see. Thank you so much for joining us, Jose, there from Toronto for us.